Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman, and today is Monday, May 11th, 2015, and being Monday, it's Messy Monday, and I'm all dressed up today because I have to go to court for prior charges. Yes, people, I was arrested last year at this time for having a muffin top in a white cotton t-shirt. And so today, one year later, I've got to go and address those charges. There's nothing worse than being arrested for a muffin top. It's humiliating, especially if you don't know that you've got one and you're still dressing as if you're in those eensy weensy little skinny jeans with the shirt tucked in. However, that belt that goes around that skinny waist that drops down to the hips is no longer visible from your view, right? So Messy Monday Muffin Top is the topic. And no, I was not arrested for having a muffin top. But if I had been, I might have gotten a Weight Watchers five or six weeks earlier than my own. Oh, duh, you got one. So here we are, we're entering that warm, and hot season. And this is where more skin is exposed. And some of us aren't looking like we should have that much skin exposed, if you know what I mean. And, you know, I admit it, I use healthy, health, helpful little um, lightweight spandexy things because I just, if, if there's, I don't know, I'm 64 and all my adult life it's always been about the midriff, the muffin top, and the jelly belly. You know, um, I guess that's just my shape. Some are shaped like pears, some are shaped like apples. And for me, you know, aging doesn't help that middle part, that muffin top. And I guess that was my moment of truth um, that crazy Saturday. June 23rd, 2014, when I said, enough, enough. I'm tired of the roll. You can't hold in a muffin top, right? You know, I don't know about you guys, but when I stand in front of a mirror, I hold in my stomach for everything. But if you're in clothes, you can't hold in a muffin top. You can with some, you know, garments, some undergarments that have that spandex in them. But you can't hold in a muffin top. And muffin tops, they're tough to move. But move, you can do them. Move, you can. And so when I joined Weight Watchers, that was it. And I had this picture, not me, of another woman. And it was from, like, the neck down. You know, it, and it landed, like, you know, at the top of where panties would go. Like, you know, before it got to the thighs. And in her hand was some huge, gooey, dripping with, you know, juices and cheeses and all that kind of stuff. Um, some sort of, you know, enchilada or, I don't know, burrito, something like that. Big, greasy, looking like anything that, like, who wouldn't want that? So there were so many, Mademoiselle, what's wrong with this picture, you know, um, for me. First of all, she's walking and eating on a main street with tons of people. You can, you can see that it's a busy street. And, and her choice, of course, is, you know, not that healthy if you're wanting to lose your muffin top. But then she had the big honking exposed muffin top. Like, I'm proud of it. it it's, it's not like you're pregnant and proud. It's like you've got a muffin top, right? So that became... That became what I looked at every day. I had a, I didn't have a laptop at the time. I had a, um, one of the tower computer type things and the tower was next to the, the monitor. And I had that picture posted there. And every day I looked at it, like some people look at the, a picture on a refrigerator to remind themselves of the choices they've made. And it was that big honking muffin top. I hate my muffin top. I hate it. And yes, I'm on maintenance now, but there's such a thing as um, skinny fat hate to tell you that, but some stuff just isn't going to go away. You know, we've seen them like on Dr. Oz or Dr. Phil where they have that, you know, great big 
expensive surgery to remove all the excess hanging skin. Well, I've got that, you know. But what do I do? I tone what's underneath, and I do it the best that I can. Um, you know, and it's one thing if you've got it and you're doing nothing about it, and it's another thing if you're really making an attempt to work on your muffin top or your jelly belly or your butt. But this is the year of the butts, so I don't see people working on their butts. I see people adding to their butts. And to tell you the truth, I know somebody that drank whole milk because she wanted her belly to get fat. You, got, you can't believe this one. Because she was going to take injections of the fat from her belly and put them into her butt so she could have a great big butt. You can't make this stuff up. But anyway, back to my muffin top. So, there I am, June 23rd, resigned once and for all to do something about the muffin top. And as some of you know from weight loss, you're not going to lose what you want to lose the most first, right? It's like the hardest earned gift to get to that one thing that you really wanted to work on. Be it inner thighs, be it jelly belly, be it your butt, you know, um, be it your muffin top. And so all the other stuff, like people, you know, it's so funny because it's like, where do we lose first? Like our face, right? Or our boobs? You know, sorry, men, if you're listening to this. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll get to your gut later. Um, so in working the muffin top, you know, first I had to get rid of the self-loathing and the self and the, just the disgust with it. But I knew when I walked in that door to my one and only real Weight Watchers meeting that I was ready. I was ready. I was not going to deal with my muffin top through the season and excuse it, cover it up, whatever. There were so many things that I wanted to wear and I'm not, you know, I've got an older body underneath it so there's not a lot of things that I want to flaunt. I just didn't want the muffin top hanging over the jeans, hanging over the khakis, hanging over, you know, hanging out of the dress, whatever. And so Weight Watchers has helped me with that. You know, it's a day at a time, it's a bite at a time. And little by slowly, my problem area has not gone away totally because it just doesn't, but it certainly has diminished, appropriately so, you know, all in moderation, all of my body parts have, you know, um, my limbs, my gut, my butt, they've all, they've all kind of slowly gone away. And what do I do to maintain that besides tracking and Weight Watchers? I exercise. I do um, specific exercises for the torso and the core. Um, and they work. And then I walk as well. Um, I do a four-mile walk, you know, a few times a week. So there's care and feeding of the muffin top after it's no longer a muffin top. You can't let it creep back in. And um, so I would love to hear what your problem areas are on Messy Monday Muffin Top. You've heard about mine ad nauseum, and now I'd like to hear about yours. So I hope you have a wonderful Monday. I hope you prepped over the weekend, tracked a little bit so you're entering into your work week or just busy week um, with stuff prepared and planned for and all of the other P's on your Messy Monday. This has been Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.